contemplate self-destruction. The biggest challenge is definitely getting us in the same place at the same time. That was that's always the difficult. only challenge. The, really, the only challenge. You know, we always come with tons of excitement and tons of energy and ideas and like creativity. And we, yeah, you know, yeah. like you said, we feel like little kids. Once we get together, we're all excited every day to get to the rehearsal spot and or to the studio. And uh, but yeah, the hardest part is just finding a week. You know, that's been the hardest part since the beginning. Is just being like, oh, what are you doing in September and it's April? You know, what are you doing in January? But it's only you know. September, it's like you have to really look far ahead to get the one week, you know what I mean, that we can all yeah. be off and all manage to get together, and uh, you know, that's the tough part, but it was, that's really, you know, that was it, yeah, that's it, it really. It was crazy that we got to, to record the record, well, everybody had that time off to do that. Yeah, and even that we had to break up, you know, we didn't yeah. even have enough time we did to the, the music vocals, first, right? we had the music done. In, we finished the music in May or June of like in June of 2019, and we couldn't even get to the vocals until January, January yeah. of, of this year. So I mean, we were sitting, and that ended up being a blessing because I feel like we had like a really you know seven, eight months to have a finished album instrumentally to sit with, yeah. you know, and write and, and come up with ideas. It was, it was like a luxury. To yeah, have it's that. really cool. But um, but yeah, I mean, we had to cut, we had to separate that process by almost a year, which is you know really abnormal, just because we couldn't. I think Troy had to leave or to go to or somewhere. Maybe you had to go. But you went. You went on like a, to South America. I don't know. You went somewhere. Yeah, probably touring. And then, uh, yeah, we couldn't. That was it. So it's like, oh, right. we got to stop and come back seven months from now. And, and we did the uh, Australian shows in the first record. And those were like un needle. unreal. 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 It's like after 30 years of playing metal, the feeling I got on that first show, on that first note. Yeah, was it was like, what the fuck, man? You know, it's it's, it's hard to explain to people. I try to yeah. explain to people that feeling. is It's very that hard. It's wild. very hard. Yeah. But it was like an it exploded. Like, like that first note kicked in, and it was an open-air festival. Man, it was laid out perfectly for us. You know, it was like, yes. Some things started off as, um, you know, demo tapes by one person some stuff was collaborative you know Greg and I got together at one point and jammed some songs just his riffs and you know Max had a demo tape you know a CD that he sent in the mail which is awesome like uh, you know demo CD like old school 90s style you know with Max riffs like yes Max riffs and uh, you know then Troy had some demos you know we just sort of share everything around and stew on them until you know you got some inspiration to sort of figure out where the songs were going so yeah, it, it always starts off with you know just a riff, just an idea, maybe not even a riff, maybe just like a, a direction that a song might go in, and, and then you just sort of work from there and extrapolate and, and work on it until it becomes a cohesive song. Over the few years leading up to this uh, recording session for the new album, we, uh, half of the material was probably written as individuals that we would then bring into the writing sessions that we had, which were only two. We only had two full weeks. Uh, we did one week two years ago and one week three years ago at Max's Jam Pad out in Phoenix. And a lot of ideas were brought there and said, hey, I've got these two pieces, what do you think? And someone would say yes, no, whatever. And the ones that people were stoked on, we would build on them right then and there to create the, the skeleton of a full song. Um, and then the other half of the songs were written kind of on the spot while we had that energy of all four of us being in the same room together, which turns out is very, very valuable uh, compared to just file sharing, which we did none of on this record. I think when you have that, that limited time restraint and you're having a great time in the same room with each other, uh, good stuff is gonna happen. So um, that's how the songwriting kind of happened, half and half. Uh, in a true collaborative effort, um, I was very, very happy that, uh, that all four of us were, were very, uh, very much involved in every song from start to finish. Um, obviously, Ben, uh, our drummer, um, he's the only one on the record that doesn't contribute vocals, but he was, very, he was there every minute. Um, working with arrangements and um, he's, uh, he's just an incredible drummer in the first place so his, the way he can, can lay, back, lay back and be simple and then also go full forward with bombasticness um, 
with a lot of thought behind it. He uh, he was the he he is and is the, is the obvious glue to the record. Uh, super solid backbone, but um, there was contributions from all four of us nearly equally across the board, and that's pretty rare. Yeah.